You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. And now, World Improv Network proudly presents Community Court. When common decency between two parties cannot solve a dispute, Community Court is there to solve the problem. All rise for the most honorable Judge Kenneth Vaccaro. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, can I get a can I get a good afternoon? Good afternoon, Judge. All right. <laughs> All right. And it's not so it's not such a good afternoon for some of us, is it, Junior? Uh, and well, this oh we got a we got an issue in court today that uh, well, Junior certainly uh can relate to pretty recently um we have a a young man here uh mr david swag yes uh you are suing your parents for uh uh well getting you circumcised without your permission uh yeah yeah Um. and what Hey, Junior, we're going to get this resolved and I know how you feel, buddy. Uh, and, uh, on the other side, uh, we have, uh, Mr. Swag, David's dad. Hello. How are you doing your honor? Uh, I'm, I'm doing just fine. Uh, it's pretty tough, I know, to have a, a, a lawsuit within the family, uh, it's not the first time that's happened here. Uh, but, you know, I think if we keep it civil and are able to put our emotions to side, all right, you guys? Let's try and put our emotions aside. Um, I'll do my best, Judge. <laughs> all right. Your Honor, I would like to say that this lawsuit was sprung on me um, during Halloween. Um, David was dressed up as an attorney. He always wanted to go to law school as a baby. Soon, the first word he actually said out of his mouth was lawyer. And uh, in Halloween, he had a little kid's costume as a lawyer. And uh, he presented the paperwork right there in front of me at that point in time. And I can't believe I'm actually standing here right now getting sued by my own son for just doing the right thing. Well, uh, well we'll figure out whether or not it was the right thing. All right. That's, yeah, that's not that's your funny. decision, Dad. All right. So, well, David, I know that uh, law school wasn't your only ambition. You uh, often spoke about the gay rodeo, and uh, I figure I would just uh, take things in my hands to help your career out either way, and that would be to have a circumcised little one. I had a lot of dreams, Dad, and I don't need you to do everything for me. <sighs> David, that is what I'm here to do, is to be your father. And I'm here to guide you down the roads that are best taken that maybe I should have taken myself. See, I'm not you. It's not your life. Yes, son, but um, I know that uh, maybe one day you'll see it differently. But right now we have to address this issue since you brought us in front of the Honorable Judge Vaccaro. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, let's uh, get to the details of the situation uh, uh Young, Miss, young Mr. Swag, uh, yeah. how old were you when, uh, this circumcision took place? I was 16. All right. Yeah. Um, and, uh, what were the, what the circumstances, uh, surrounding the event? Um, well, uh, I went to bed one night like I normally do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the next morning, uh, when I woke up, I was uh, strapped down and um, bandaged. Um, so it, uh, it it occurred during my sleep. I wasn't I wasn't aware of it. All right. 
Yeah. Yo, yo, Your Honor, mm-hmm. yeah, my name is Dyrell Tompkins, and I'm David's best friend. And I was spending the night that night when, uh, you know, I woke up in the morning and saw him tied down. And I did, I heard some rustling going on in the middle of the night, but I didn't roll over because I was been playing Xbox, so I wasn't even paying attention. And if I would have known that was his parents circumcising him in the middle of the night, I would have got up and knocked his dad in the mouth. But I didn't know that. But now, ever since he got circumcised, he's depressed because his little boy ain't got no more hood. Uh, uh, Your Honor, I would like to enter into evidence. Um, this is a receipt um, where it shows that, that my parents paid uh, Rabbi Shulman uh, mm-hmm. to perform the procedure. Um, and he's, he's, as you can see, with the uh, Moyles & Co. company. And had there been any discussion prior to uh, your waking up bandaged? Uh um, you know, had, had there been any warning or indication that there, uh, well, there were plans? Had, had you been able to vocalize your uh, your disagreement towards getting a circumcision? Um, uh, yeah, my dad mentioned it in passing, you know, whenever okay. I was talking about, you know, wanting to get into the gay rodeo or, uh, you know, he was like, well, some things you're going to have to do. I was like, no, Dad, you know, if if I want to... You know, be, uh, you know, uh, still have all my foreskin and try to break in to the gay rodeo, you know, break down barriers. You know, I, I wanted to be, I wanted to be me. Your Honor, as being a former gay rodeo participant myself, I know how hard it is to be accepted within the gay rodeo. And I knew that he didn't have to su- suffer the same fate that I did because I still do have my foreskin. And I was ostracized within the gay rodeo community because of it. And so when he mentioned that, I thought that was a cry out for help, that he really wanted to get circumcised, but didn't want to be, well, not manly enough to admit it. Because he's at that age now where he's trying to become a man and have some machismo attitude to him and not listen to his father. Uh, Your Honor, I would also like to enter into evidence. Um, This is... Uh, so, uh, a poem I wrote my dad when I was 12 mm-hmm. called My Hero. Okay. Um, and it just says that, that my dad's my hero and I look up to him and I just want to be like him. You know? Like that's what's important to me. And does that include the un- not, yes. s- still not circumcised? Yeah. He had the courage to go into the gay rodeo as as a whole man and... That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps. And now I can't do that. Um, so that's why I'm suing you, Dad. So, so I did not understand. I never saw it from that perspective. Yeah, you never see it from my perspective. Well, well, all right, all right. Well, when you, you said you wanted to be like me i thought you just wanted to be the best gay rodeo star of all time but now i realize when you you you, you meant you wanted to be like me you bet you wanted my foreskin too <laughs> it's not about being a star dad it's about being your son <laughs> so 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 sorry dave i i saved it in the freezer, just in case, maybe there could be some. Oh my god! That's disgusting. Super glue to put it back on what? you, Dave. That's oh, that's not case. how it works. Well, I remember as a child, I used to watch the Sir, sir, I'm going to cut you off right here. I think you were wrought with emotion, and you don't know what you're saying right now. <laughs> do you really have? I do. A frozen fork. It's, it's his. All right, all right, that's fine. You don't need to pull it out or anything. And, and my grand. And his grandfather's foreskin oh is in the freezer as well. And when I watched MacGyver during his age, everything was fixed. All right, all right. Super this, all right, this, that's you. enough. That's enough. Uh, my gosh, m- Mr. <laughs> Not now, Junior. Not now. I'm trying to wrap up this case. Uh, young Mr. Swag, I, uh, Seems like some new evidence has come to light that, uh, this is an unsuitable home for you. Uh, uh, it's clear that, uh, the senior Mr. Swag here, uh, is, uh, 
uh, also uh, in, enduring some emotional duress. Uh, I mean, you are as well, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to put you in foster care, young man. Uh, oh, no. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, gonna... I just wanted to make a point. Well, uh, hey, your yep. what, 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 my, what my boy gonna be, man? If he's in foster care, I ain't gonna be able to, you know, play some Xbox One. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, Mr. Swag. Well, if that's stick. your priority, young man, is just being able to play Xbox One, then you need to rearrange your friendship. Is more than just uh, convenience and access to your friend's material possessions. All right. Well, I'll be honest with you, Your Honor. That's the only reason I'm friends with David because he got an what? Xbox One and I ain't got one. Oh. I'm doing you a favor, <laughs> Mr. Swag. I'm separating you from some uh, nasty characters, all right? I, that's my rolling. Uh, uh, I, I wish you the best of luck, and I, I, I hope you do continue to pursue those dreams of being in the gay rodeo, whatever that is. I don't know if that's some kind of innuendo or or what, but... No, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a legitimate rodeo. It's a, just a rodeo with... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exclusively it's, it is uh, legitimate gay rodeo it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's been around, bull riders or, yeah, or it's whatever been around called for 31 athletes. years and I, 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 I was in the circuit for eight of those initial 31 years your honor oh, <laughs> take, it, take a breath jeez louise I, I've made my run All right, court dismissed let's go live outside the courtroom to Wilford Taylor to hear post trial thoughts from the plaintiff and defendant Wilford all right, well, I'm here with the uh, young Mr. Davis Swag, and uh looks like things uh, took a turn that you weren't expecting. Yeah, I really just wanted to make a point that, you know, my life is my own to my dad, but now I lost my dad, the judge took away my best friend, my only friend, and now I'm... I guess I'm getting hauled well, off to foster care. Well, the foundation of your friendship sounded pretty shaky, I'd say. You know, when you don't have any friends, you take what you can get. All right, fair enough. And uh, here I am with the senior, Mr. Uh, Mr. Swag. Uh, well, uh, looks like your son's been more or less taken away from you. Uh, how are you doing? You're pretty emotional in uh, the courtroom, and it seems like your the dial's been turned up even more. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that, that I would try, try, try to do to help my son make it in the, the gay radio would actually take him from me for the rest of my life. <laughs> all right, all right, well, uh, that does it for me outside the, the courtroom and, uh, well, this concludes another ruling by the Judge Vaccaro. The verdict has been made and the court of law has spoken. Tune in next week for another fascinating episode of Community Court. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or the KZKO Wind Blog during the commercial break of a crime that needs to be solved during Truth and Justice. Next on KZKO. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe.